dozens of supporters and opponents of Wisconsin's same-sex marriage ban converged on Chicago today. Attorneys for the state and eight same-sex couples presented their arguments in front of the U.S. 7th District Court of Appeals. Capitol Bureau Chief Greg Newman was in Chicago and has you covered with details of their arguments. The overwhelming sense from both same-sex marriage advocates and opponents was that the three-judge appeals panel was not buying the state's rationale for upholding Wisconsin's same-sex marriage ban. Again, you never know what the court's uh, going to do, but um, I was pleased by the general tenor of the questions of the court. The ACLU attorney representing the plaintiffs had to be more than just pleased as the appeals court panel comprised of judges Richard Posner, Ann Claire Williams, and David Hamilton grilled assistant attorney Attorney General Timothy Samuelson for over 20 minutes on how repealing the ban would be harmful to Wisconsin residents. And I didn't feel like the district or the attorney generals could really answer that question and except by saying they don't know but they're afraid of what might happen. Judge Posner called part of the state's argument feeble while Judge Hamilton bashed the rationale that upholding the ban would promote more heterosexual marriage and traditional families. But same-sex marriage opponents criticized the judges for continuing what they call a dangerous legal precedent. You have no fault divorce. Then you have, oh, you don't have to get married in order to have sex. The courts have systematically over 60 years deconstructed the family and taken away all these fences. Saying that the fundamental right to marry applies to different sex couples, but not to same sex couples, violates the equal dignity of same sex couples. And that is a limiting principle based in, in constitutional law, based in the Supreme Court law. While it seems obvious what these judges will decide, when they will decide it is another question. It will likely be months before an official ruling comes down, probably in late fall. In Chicago, Greg Newman, 27 News. Attorney General J.B. Van Hollen put out a statement after the hearing that reads in part, quote, all laws governing domestic relations, whether they are laws concerning marriage or divorce or child custody, have been traditionally left to the states. Wisconsin's laws defining marriage should be given the same respect and deference. Van Hollen has vowed to fight to uphold the ban all the way to the Supreme Court if necessary.